So we are on our full, full study. As we finish the full, the foolish fools, we're looking at folly as we close our study. And we're at 201. Psalms 49, 13. Found our case guilty in some of this case, haven't we? But in other cases, we have not found ourselves guilty yet. To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. And Psalm 49, 13 says, This their way is their folly, yet their posterity approves their saying, Sila. Folly is sin. It's plain and simple. And when you look at Psalms 49, 6 to 13, it's the sinner. Folly, we've seen sexual rape, seen deceit. Well, now we see it's just outright sin. Psalms 85, 8. This study is to help us walk closer to God. And if God has no folly, no foolishness in him, so we ought not to either. We ought to know what sin and folly is. By studying the word of God that we will not be ashamed. Psalms 85, 8. I will hear what God the Lord will speak. For, I, for he will speak peace unto his people. And to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Don't sin. Don't backslide. There's an Old Testament passage. Psalms is your hymnal. Of the King James Bible. And you're to sing out. But let them not turn again to folly. When God speaks to us. And God addresses our sin. We ought not to return be folly if we do. Proverbs 5.23 He shall die without instruction. It's not good. And in greatness of his folly, greatness of folly, he shall go astray. Folly never gets you in the right way of God. Jesus is the way, and in him is no folly. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, instruction, the way, instruction. And when a man has rejected the way, the truth, and the life, he's going to go astray from God and not come back Unless he ever does believe in Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Hell is full of men that reject Jesus Christ. They do it to be fools in their foolishness and of folly. Proverbs thirteen sixteen. Every prudent man dealeth not with knowledge. Contra. But a fool lieth open his folly. So a prudent is not a fool, and a fool is not prudent. A prudent has knowledge. A fool has folly. We just read, he won't, he'll die without instruction. A fool equals a fool in sin. And this is not God bringing out his sin, though he will one day. This is the man bringing out his own sin. Look at all the gambling tickets I bought. Look at the women I scored this weekend. Look at how many drinks I had. Look where I waste my money. Look where I waste my time. And it's a shame that some Christians do that. Proverbs 14.8. Proverbs 14.8. 
The wisdom of the prudent, again, is to understand his way, God's way. But the folly of fools is deceit. So let's add another one. Folly and fools equal deceit, fraud, and lies. Since we have picked up this study of folly, we have seen no good in this folly. We have seen open sin. If you ever told a lie, Christian, then you're in folly. Have you ever defrauded somebody, Christian? And it happens all the time. Folly. Proverbs 14, 18. The simple inherent folly. Inherit. That's not something you want in someone's will. I leave to such and such folly. But the prudent, again, opposite of the simple, are crowned with knowledge. So folly is not of knowledge, contra, as the simple is contra the prudent. Simple are not prudent. To inherit is to attain or to get into sin. Sin adds to more sin and adds to more sin and adds to more sin. Why does pornography have such a strong hold on a person? Because it begins with a little sin and that's not good enough. I got to do something more. What? That's dead and tired. Gotta go do something more. You know, you would never think that a person struck out on illegal drugs started one day by taking a little drag off a marijuana stick. One day the marijuana, you know what? That wasn't strong enough. I need something else. Then that becomes not strong enough. I need something else. And that's the danger with sin as a boa constrictor. You know, he wraps himself around a living object. And when that living object inhales, I mean, it exhales, excuse me, the boa constrictor wraps himself closer and tighter. And as that living thing exhales itself more, that boa constrictor squeezes harder. Until that living thing cannot take a breath no more. And the snake survives. And the living thing is dead. All sins begin very tiny. And I'm not saying there's degrees of sin, but it starts off small. I would hardly believe that bank robbers started off their first thing going, okay, I'm just going to rob this bank. Now, maybe there's been some out there, but it hasn't been too successful. You can't walk 18 years old into a big casino facility without first starting paying a dollar to scratch off. Barbara's 1424. The crown of the wise is their riches. But the foolishness opposite of wise the foolishness of fool is folly. So folly is not riches and riches is not folly. Foolishness equals the foolishness of the fool. A fool is a sinner and a sinner sins. Folly. Have you, Christian, ever sinned? Any sin? You're in folly. Don't, oh, this sin is greater than that sin, and this sin is not as big as that sin over there, that guy there. No. Let's address all sins as what it is. Plain and simple, on the ground, all have sinned, come short of the glory of God. Let's put sin on the level. Let's give it a folder name. Put the folder name tab, folly. Open up that folder, and you stick every sin in that folder, even how gross you think it is, or how minute it is, it goes into that folder, and it gets filed away as folly. 
Oh, they're the great adulterers. And pride is also a sin. Well, you know, I, I, I wouldn't deceive those people. Like that guy deceives people. And lack of prayer is a sin. Proverbs 14, 29. He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding. But he that is hasty of spirit, exalteth, raises up powers by, gives authority to folly, which is sin. That's what we looked at. Sin. And we've all sinned. We've all had folly. Ephesians 4, 26, be angry. I get angry over things. I am so angry with Jehovah Witness system, the Roman Catholic system, and how they have deceived many people I know and family. And sin not. I'm not going to go burn their buildings down. I'm not going to go chop off the heads off the, the statues. I'm not going to go torture them. I'm not going to shoot them. I'm not going to do anything to them but witness to them. Now, if I did harm to them, their religion, building, whatever they have, I've gotten angry and I sin. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Folly is to sin. By not controlling your anger. Quick of a spirit. Too quick to get angry or too quick to respond to situation. A person that does not study the situation. A person that does not have a cooling off period. Let me just go home thinking about. Every parent who dis disciplines their child should have this moment here. Just calm down. Think it out. Have a talk with the child. Imply your discipline means and not in anger. Proverbs 15, 21. Folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom. He has no wisdom. He's not wise. He's a fool. But a man of understanding doesn't go with the folly, doesn't go with the, with the fool, walketh uprightly. So folly is not walking upright. It's not associated with wisdom. It is not wise to be a folly. Sin is pleasure. According to the Bible. Romans 1.32 Who knowing the judgment of God. That they which commit such things are worthy of death. Not only do the same. But have pleasure in them that do that. Hebrews 11.25 Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God. Than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. You know the Bible says. There is pleasure in sin. But it, that pleasure doesn't go off into eternity. For the Christian, it is a loss of rewards and crowns and inheritance. For the lost man, it is something you pay for in the lake of fire that burns for all eternity. It doesn't get you wisdom, and it doesn't get you walking upright. Proverbs 16, 22. Understanding, that word again, is a wellspring of life. Unto him that has it. So it doesn't come to all. But. The instruction of fools. Is folly. It's a sin. It is a sin to teach evolution. Defying God. Jesus. And the word of God. The Bible. Teaching people how to sin. Is folly and it's a sin. Instruction is the gain of knowledge to be taught. 
And fools, no matter what degrees they have, teach sin. That is throughout the entire education system of the world. Did anyone teach or encourage you to smoke, drink, or other sins? That person was a fool, and he taught you folly. Peer pressure is folly. How do you deal with peer pressure? You get the understanding, you get the wisdom, and you get the knowledge of God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Let me read you something here, Job 28, 28. Job 28, 28. This was taught in the school. Job 28, 28. Unto man peer pressure, he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil, that's understanding. There is your definition to get out of peer pressure. The Bible. Proverbs 17, 12. Let a bear rob of her wealth, her young, meet a man, an angry bear meet a man, rather than a fool, in his folly. Fool and folly is most miserable. Christians ought to never be a fool and sure not into folly for it angers God. Proverbs 18, 13 He that answers a matter before he heareth it it is folly a shame unto him. So what you have here is a man. And he answers. A quick to answer or quick to do anything without advice. Or thought. Or prayer. Is sin. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, 2 Timothy 2.15. When you know somebody, or you are somebody who is quick to answer, quick to take control of the conversation. Folly. Foolish. You're not walking right. Need to repent. You need to stop. Proverbs 26.4. Answer not a fool according to his folly, his sins, lest thou also be like unto him. These are these two verses here that we dealt with before. Do not lower yourself to his sinful way. You know, Paul says to the weak, I became weak and other things. So there was a generation in the 60s saying, well, I became a druggie to reach the druggies. I became a hippie to become... To, to witness to the hippies. I became a sinner to witness to the sinners. How's that sound? I don't take part in those sins to reach the sinner. Some smoke the some said spoke about smoking pot to gain the pot smokers. And it'll gather them to one event. If we will bring the world into the church, we can win the world. They sin, you sin, and that equals folly. You are doing the fool no favor in becoming a fool. Churches have become a fool with the folly of the foolish world. Entertainment, movies, performances, music, etc., the church is playing the fool and in the folly, which is sin. And it cannot be the world to turn them to Christians. You're not going to bring about Christians using the world. It's impossible. It's like saying, I'm going to use chocolate to make a vanilla cake. I'm going to get me a devil's food cake box and make me an angel food cake. 
I'm going to put my shoes on my hands and go to work today. Proverbs 26.5. Proverbs 26.5. I mean, I'm just trying to help you out here. Answer a fool according to his folly. Least he be wise in his own conceit. Shame him, but not yourself. Where did Cain get his wife from? From his father-in-law. How did Noah get all the animals in the ark? Through the door. And to someone who's perverted the Bible, Second, second Esther 29.1. But don't make it a habit or a waste of valuable time. But be careful how you answer. Make sure you have studied to make sure that person is right. I mean, you may think he's playing a fool. He may be just as serious as anything. We, we talked about that before. Last place we'll look today, 215, Proverbs 26, 11. As a dog returns to his vomit. That's disgusting. That is something you get people come over your house and visit your house and you got a dog. And there are things that dogs do that will embarrass you in front of your, your company. That's one of them. So a fool returneth to his folly, sin. Unclean pictures, so a fool is returning to drink, smoke, sex, the sin. He is sinning. You might as well just go out and swallow your own vomit. That's disgusting. So is you going back to your sin. According to the Bible, according to, to what God has written in the 66 books of the King James Bible, when you go back to your folly, you go back to your sin as a fool does, just go out there and throw up and eat it. Remember what the church in the Laodicean church age period does to God? I, I want to spew you out of my mouth. We make God sick today. Because of our folly of the church. Look how great we are. Look how wonderful you are. Yeah, rah, rah. God says you're miserable. You're wretched. You're blind. You don't even know what you're doing. 